random variable random variable it maps outcomes to real number so that is a random variable and it is represented or denoted by capital letters that is in the uppercase letters x y z and all of this now we have two types of random variable one is a discrete random variable and the other one is the continuous random variable difference between discrete and continuous random variable if x is a discrete random variable then it assumes values as x1 x2 x3 and so on but if x is a continuous random variable if x is continuous then it will assume values within an interval that is x belongs to real number or we can write this as x1 is less than x is less than x2 here x can take values within this interval x1 to x2 so in case of a discrete random variable we have finite number of values or countably infinite finite in the sense if we are performing an experiment of tossing two coins so tossing two coins and if x is denoting the number of heads as the random variable then x can take values 0 1 and 2 so that means here x is taking finite number of values that is 0 1 2 and this is a case of a discrete random variable on the other way in the case of a continuous random variable since here we have defined the values in an interval so within an interval we have infinite number of values so that is it is a case of a continuous random variable where we have infinite number of values when in, it can take all values within an interval. So here we have infinite number of values. So this is the difference between this and what is the meaning of this countably infinite? Like if x is taking values, let the x is taking values 0, 1, 2, 3 and this goes till infinity. Even then this is here we have x has infinite many values but we can map these values with a set of natural number like here we have a set of natural number and here we have the values that is x values so the set of natural number it is 1 2 3 4 and so on and here we have the x values as 0 1 2 3 so we can map these values with the set of natural number and that is why we call this as the countably infinite even then this is a case of a discrete random variable but in case of a continuous random variable since the values are defined within an interval so within an interval it can take any real number that means all the real numbers which lies within an interval so that means it is a case of a continuous so in the case of a continuous the values defined in an interval and in the case of a discrete it is at discrete points so if we are taking values x is equals to 0 1 2 3 up to infinity that means it is simply taking these values 0 1 2 it is not taking values in between 0 and 1 because we have infinite number of values in between 0 and 1 it is taking value 0 1 2 and this goes to infinity which we can map with the set of natural number but if we are taking values within 0 and 1 so within 0 and 1 we have infinite number of values it could be 0 0.00001 it could be 0 0.13 it could be 0 0.0000 0, 1, 3. So we have infinite number of values and this cannot be mapped with the set of natural numbers. Okay, so this is the difference between the discrete and continuous. For the discrete case, if we are performing an experiment of tossing two coins and if we are defining the random variable x to be the number of head in that case it is a case of a discrete in case of a continuous time time it is always a continuous quantity time measuring heights and weights that means if we measure height if we measure weight so these are the cases of the continuous random variable if we measure depth it is also the case of a continuous random variable so this is the difference between the discrete and continuous in continuous we can assume values within an interval in the case of a discrete we assume values at distinct point 0 1 2 up to infinity okay now uh, here we have some example based on the discrete and continuous so i will 
suggest you to pause this video and first uh, write down the answer whether it is a case determine whether it is for the discrete random variable or it is for the case of a continuous and then verify your answer so the first example that is the number of cars sold by a car dealer in one month so it is a case of a discrete random variable why it is a case of a discrete random variable because the number of cars sold in one month it could be zero one two three and this goes goes till 100 or 2000 or something so that means it is a case it cannot be like in between interval that is we cannot define this is in an interval like 0 to 100 or something like this because 0 0.1 0 0.3 it is not a quantity it is not a number of car similarly the number of typographical errors in a rough draft of a book so again the error it could be 1 2 3 or 0 errors it could be 7 9 13 15 so again it is a case of a discrete random variable the length of time it takes a truck driver to go from new york to miami so that means length of time the length of time it could be 57 minutes 33 seconds or it could be one hour 55 minutes 2.3300 seconds it could be something like this or it could be 0 0.003 seconds so that means this length of time because time it is a continuous quantity so here we have a continuous random variable the weight of a truck in a truck weighing station again weight this can be measured it could be something like 65 point uh, 265.03, 68.11, 68.0 something. So that means this is again a case of a continuous random variable. The number of cats in a shelter at any given time, it is a case of a discrete random variable. The weight of newborn babies, again the weight, it could be 2.3, it could be 1.03, it could be 1.007, it could be 1.374. So it could be something like this. So that means the weight of newborn, again it is a continuous random variable variable the number of students who were protesting the tuition increase last semester the number of students it could be 0 1 2 3 and so on so it is a case of a discrete random variable the weight of a book in the library it could be anything so it is a case of a continuous random variable the number of books in the library so number of books it is a case of a discrete random variable then we have the grade given to a student as a letter so the as a letter that means the grade could be a or a plus or a plus plus so it is something like this so i think this is a case of a discrete random variable uh, discrete random variable as a letter for this case the grade given to a student as a percentage percentage it could be 95.75 it could be 95.03 it could be 95 simply it could be 94.99 something like this so this is a case of a continuous random variable the length of time someone lives again because it is a time so it is a continuous random variable the number of applicants who have applied for a vacant position so number of applicant it could be 0 1 2 3 and so on so we cannot define in an interval so this is a case of a discrete random variable the depth of drilling to find oil so it is a case of a depth so depth again it is a case of a continuous random variable so these are several examples based on a discrete and continuous random variable